يا حبيبتي يا عمري يا روحي يا قلبي مرحبا السلام عليكم كيف حالكم In this video we're going to be learning five expressions or things you can call your partners and beloved ones Okay, let's jump in Okay, first off we have the word Habibi A lot of us are already familiar with this The word Habibi is in 99.9% .9 of Arabic songs There's a video here explaining the kind of the grammatical construct of Habibi but if you're um, if you're a male talking to a female you'd say Habibti and if you're talking to a male you'd say Habibi the Ya is basically a thing that we use before we call on someone we don't necessarily need it but it's it's called like a a mini letter for calling so Harf um, Nida a letter for calling or think of it yeah like a mini word you put in before calling on someone Ya Ya Ahmad Ya Muhammad Ya Habibi, Ya Habibti, things like that. You can also use Ya with adjectives. So if you're driving and you're having road rage, um, you can use it with insults such as Ya Hamar, Ya Hayawan. Hamar and Hayawan, Hamar donkey, Hayawan animal. But these are very common insults in the Middle East. So you can add Ya before those to add more of a calling uh, connotation. You're calling the person this. Okay, so yeah, now back to the nice things and uh, the love words. So yeah, Habibi, we know this. Yeah, Habibti, if you're talking to a female. Now, the second one we're going to look at is Ya Umri. Ya Umri. Umr is basically age. And the way we're using it here is more like you're my age slash existence. And notice with all these, they're ending in E. They will end in an E suffix. This basically means my. Anytime you add an E sound to the end of a noun in Arabic, this indicates the possessive adjectives, which is just the fancy word for my. My, your, his, her, that kind of thing. Now, for the rest of the ones we're going to look at, we don't necessarily have to change the gender because we're just we're just saying the word itself plus the e suffix, suffix, which means my. With Habib, because colloquially we have Habiba and hab, Habib and Habiba, so Habib the masculine, darling or lover, and Habiba the feminine, love or darling. But in the rest, like Umr is a masculine noun, Umr, age. Um, haya, feminine, Haya, T. So we're adding that T in there. So don't, with, with the rest of these, we, um, this is kind of how they are out of the box. We don't have to change anything. The only thing we have to change, or the only one we would have to change gender for is Habib. Just remember, if you're talking to a male, Ya Habibi. If, if you're talking to a female, Ya Habib T. For the rest, fairly easy. So we talked about Ya Umri my age, my existence. The next one we're going to look at is Ya Hayati, Ya Hayati, my life. Haya is life, Hayati, my life. Okay, now if you're wondering why there's a T, this is basically due to the Ta Marbuta. More on this in one of the videos here where we talk about Habibi, we kind of explain the Habib, Habiba T and why there's a T in there. But again, this is due to the Ta Marbuta, the tied up T. So Ya Hayati, Ya Hayati, okay. Next up, we have Ya Rohi. Ya Rohi. Ruh is soul. Ruh or Ruh, pronounced Ruh or Ruh, soul. Rohi, my soul. And again, remember anything that ends in an E, or we're adding that Ya in Arabic, that's the indication that it means my. That's my, basically. So Ya Rohi. Ya Rohi. Okay? And then we also have Ya Albi. Ya Albi. My heart. This you're going to hear in all songs as well. Um, I think I think most of uh, Arabic songs lyrics are just a combination of these words, just in different order. Ya Umri, Ya Hayati, Ya Habibi, Ya Albi, Ya Ruhi, and then just recycle them. You know, so there's if if you're listening to Arabic songs, you're definitely gonna pick up on at least three or four of these in one song, maybe one one line of lyrics even. Tamam. Ya Albi, Alb is heart, Albi my heart. Ya Albi. Okay. Now bonus one is Ya Habib Albi. The love of my heart. Or you could say Habibit Albi. The female love of my heart. Habibit Albi. And there's, I mean, there's a ton. Again, Arabic is a very poetic language. So there's so many nice things you could say with someone else. These are the top five, I would say, that you will hear in songs that you could use with your loved one right away. Fairly easy. Again, to recap, Ya Habibi or Habibti. Ya Umri. Ya Hayati. Ya Ruhi. Ya Albi. And then bonus, Ya Habib Albi, Ya Habibit Albi. Let me know if you guys have any questions. And if you're still with me, 
Make sure to check out the free mini course in the description below if you're brand new to Arabic. This goes over the different types of questions that a lot of people have asked me about regarding what kind of Arabic to learn, what's the difference between MSA and dialect, what kind of dialect to learn, if I learn one dialect, can I interact with people from different dialects? All these questions and more are answered in the mini course. You'll also be getting a sample of the full course. So there will be mini video lessons and exercises for you to do as well to get a sense of or to get a feel of the full course, which has over 100 lessons in it, including quizzes, exercises, audio recordings, scripts, you name it, it's all there. Okay, so make sure to check that out. If you guys have questions or suggestions for future videos, Leave them in the comments and I will do my best to get to those. And I'll see you in the next video.